hello friends uh, welcome back to my youtube channel this is harendra and today we will learn to create uh, ui programmatically so for that uh, we will uh, use uh, this snapcut library uh, that that is available on github so you can go to the uh, libraries github page uh, you can also search snapcut on google like this and you will found this uh, library easily okay and uh, you can also create native code for the auto layout but uh, like this library gives us some more flexibility and more flexible code to write uh, auto layout constant easily so this is the official page of this library and you can check uh, all requirement and all basic things are mentioned here like support and uh, support pages all things okay so for the cocoa port you can uh, install this library like this and this is for the Carthage okay and you can also uh, integrate this library manually so my focus is not to integrate this library my focus is uh, for the beginners uh, beginners and they want to uh, learn to create UI programmatically and sometimes uh, we have requirement in our application that we need to uh, create UI programmatically and add the uh, UI constant on that or auto layout constant on that uh, programmatically so for that this library is, uh, is much easier to uh, use in our application and this help us to uh, write uh, auto layout code okay so for that uh, first you need to uh, review this page and you can uh, learn some basic of this snapcut library and then you can start so this is very easily uh, easily you can learn and uh, for that first uh, we need to create a project so in my case i am creating a new project okay mm. let's say auto layout demo and uh, or whatever you want you can create you can give the name okay and this thing is new in xcode 12.1 so like if you uh, select set ui then you can also uh, choose the life cycle of the application okay but we are uh, using a storyboard so ui could have delegate we will use okay and then hit the next button select the uh, destination so in my case i have selected this on my uh, desktop okay then next what i'm doing i'm not uh, creating any uh, pod kind of thing i'm not integrating this uh, using pod so no need of creating pod file or install cocoa pod uh, anymore okay so i am using a uh, packet man package manager so this is much sim simpler and you don't need to uh, make your project to workspace okay just go to here select the project so package manager and you can also go to from here okay so but i'm prefer to add from here So here are the version you want to support okay so i'm uh, i'm keeping it default okay so this library is integrated in our application so you can check all source code are here okay and next thing uh, we have a view controller that comes with uh, an initial setup in our application and then i am selecting iphone okay iphone simulator to differentiate the launch screen because view controller control is also in white background so give some color mm, not this one okay. okay and add a label and you can uh, and you can skip this thing but i am uh, adding this for two 
differentiate our view controller and in a splash screen okay so this will not take much time wasting time just jump on the storyboard and let's stretch this okay so this is our uh, UIB controller so if like uh, you drag and drop uh, any UI component like this okay and you have to add uh, auto layout like this and whatever height you want okay so this is the way when you uh, create your using drag and drop method like uh, you go to this object library and select the objects and simply drag and drop over, over there and from here uh, you can apply auto layout constraints okay but in our today's lesson uh, we are not going for the drag and drop we are creating our auto layout programmatically so for that like uh, for uh, first we need to uh, create a class helper class mm. UI kit helper okay and you can give the name whatever you want because uh, I give this name uh, because I want to create all UI components here UI kit import the UI kit kit okay so basically uh, what we will do uh, we will create some uh, global methods uh, that will return some UI components like uh, UI label UI button and whatever you want in your in your application okay and you can also create subclass of that uh, like if you uh, you can create subclass of ui button ui label and all other components okay but uh, i am creating methods only here and to uh, saving my time in program to write some code i have already some piece of code here in separate file so this type of function kind of this uh, we will write here okay so simply i'm pasting here okay so now you can see we have three methods okay three functions here now first one is for button another one for the label and last one is for the text view okay and you can check in the method signature here are some default values like for the frame title okay so these are some default value and you can check here in the function implementation uh, we have configured our ui component components like uh, frame and uh, title color and background color so this same thing you can achieve using uh, subclassing these component but uh, i am creating functions only okay and then our class like this one is your class okay so here we can create some more methods to add these ui components uh, in our ui view controller so go to the class and uh, this one this one I think uh, I have another code it's like this you can check here simply we, we can take this code from here and write this code here okay so like and also you need to import this library import snap kit indentation is correct 
okay so if you now we will we can go one by one what we have done here so you can check uh, we have this method here uh, add all UI components so first what we are doing creating UI component so achieving this thing like you have multiple buttons and multiple UI label so achieving this thing we have created a uh, uh, global uh, global functions to re return that component like this method you can check by this method uh, we are creating buttons so avoiding every time this code okay so we have this function okay so like button one button two and so we have created five buttons only in five but uh, five lines okay so we have avoided all noise in this class in our ui view controller we have simply five buttons okay then five labels and then we have added the all components in, in a array and then using the array we have added this on uh, our uh, ui view controller sub view okay then this is the offset offset means uh, left right uh, left right margin of our uh, ui view components and this is the height of the components or whatever you want okay so i am using the site only for the buttons so you can check using this method signature or this closure okay and you can create a constant like button dot snap snap uh, stands for the shortcut of and short form of a snap kit so using this here okay so this returns a object of your uh, snap and then you can uh, add like top left right and whatever uh, constant you want to add in our ui component so i have added you can check button one that uh, top is uh, equal to safe area guide top okay and you, you can also do this bottom but that is not required for now okay then you can check button two uh, top is uh, bind to button one okay and this is the offset offset uh, it provide uh, space between two uh, components or between two anchors okay and then next is the button third button three button four okay and so on and this one is uh, label from here we have started uh, adding uh, auto layout on labels so this one is level one level two level three and so on okay so this is the five labels and five button we have added here so if i run this application sorry we need to call this method in muted load okay so call this method in muted load and hit the run again okay so we have uh, this ui okay so sometime what happens uh, like you want to uh, remove something uh, from middle of ui or between uh, from ui component so this uh, breaks your entire story uh, storyboard constraints okay to avoid so avoiding this thing uh, we create uh, auto layout uh, programmatically so this is much easier like you can uh, remove this from like button you don't want to reference from button 2 you can simply do it uh, you can simply change it to button one okay without breaking uh, all ui uh, all ui now uh, because uh, uh, whenever you launch your application this method and uh, these all statement will add uh, fresh uh, ui uh, auto layer constant to your view controller okay so without uh, creating any difficulty or breaking the auto layout you can adjust your ui component easily or you can position and hide with anything you can manage 
easily okay so this is the uh, basic and now if you want to create a form kind of thing so we can also do that uh, this is my code so you can check okay so I'm copying this from here and add this code here okay simply commit this one and call this function from here so you can check what we are doing here this is the text view okay so first we are adding a label and then we are adding a ui text view and then we are adding a submit button okay and we have added this on the sub view and that is the sub view of our uh, main view controller this one okay, so this is the view where we are adding our all view uh, ui components okay so we have added this and now it's time to add uh, auto layout constants so first uh, we have added this one and top uh, top layer uh, top encourage uh, safe area guide okay and then we have added message box and submit button and also we have added some required offset or spacing between them so you can check all these definitions and all uh, available functions and uh, support things here you can also check the attributes uh, what we say in uh, ns layout attribute and what is the view attribute in this library so this is the basic comparison okay and you can also use uh, like more advanced things like greater than or equal to or greater than or equal to kind of things in uh, auto layout so all things are available here this is the detailed uh, documentation so i'm not uh, going deeply uh, because uh, you need to practice for that you can check the priority kind of thing so you you can give all things th here uh, and for the learning purpose you can overview this document okay i'm giving you just a basic idea how we can implement and how we can use this and we have added this submit button la in last so if we run this application again like this we have created this uh, contact us form i'm not winding a click event on this and any other thing like clearing this thing and place and placeholder kind of thing uh, or not decorating this ui just giving a simple idea how we can create a view controller or ui ui uh, programmatically using uh, snap kit or using uh, pro auto layout programmatically okay so i think uh, i have completed my tutorial and if you have any query any question you can write a comment in comment box and i will give you answer or reply over there okay uh, till then thank you bye bye